Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today is more Project Cars 2 Career Mode Formula Rookie European Championship Round 3 at Donington Park National. Um, yeah, this race was a bit rough for myself. I uh, I don't really know Donington that well. All I know is that this is the same track where Senna did the greatest lap of all time. Other than that, not too much. Uh, it's surprisingly very technical. For only a couple of turns, and if you look at the map there, it looks pretty straightforward, but it's actually pretty tricky. Um, these Formula rookies are a weird beast. Anyway, yeah, it's going into practice here. You can see that it is raining because, well, we are in England, so yeah, if it wasn't raining, it would rain in England. Anyways. Going out here on my first lap, just trying to warm everything up, uh, get the tires nice and warm, get the brakes nice and warm, get some practice in. It's terrible to go on your first lap on a track that you don't know in the wet. And as you see, I just touch the curve on the outside, and that just uh, shoots me off into the mud. Not even gravel, or mud. But in the end of practice, I managed to grab P1 there. Uh, seems like whenever there is wet weather, it's like the great equalizer in times between myself and the AR. Yeah, heading on here to qualify and we'll stay on board with me for a whole lap. And as you can see, the bottom tile on the top left. This was my first flying lap, but it was a pretty decent one. It was good enough to see me through to the race. Going to the first turn here, which is such an awkward corner because the exit comes up to so quickly and the car just wants to slide off the track. These Formula rookies are actually terrible at handling. Anyways, coming down here to this right hand right here, essential not to touch the curl on the outside or the inside. You see, I'm in a big, big slide. And also not to touch this curb, which I did again. Um, it's one adjustment with still learning wet weather in simulators because I've been playing GT Sport for like the past four months religiously. And um, obviously, that uh, rain update just dropped the other day. So, yeah, I haven't had much time on wet weather, so I need to learn, stay away from curbs, they are literally the devil, and they will try to kill you at every single opportunity. And it's coming up here to the final chicane. Um, this is where, in the dry, I was using most of my time there, and the up to the right hand. So, coming up to the line now. I'm going to grab myself pole position and uh, I'm just going to cut straight into the race due to some recording issues. So yeah, in the race now, starting on pole position, as you can see it is dry, which is not good for me because I have no practice in the dry, so I don't know where the braking markers are, I don't know where the turning markers are, I don't know any of those. Just adjusting the brake bias and everything forward. Going into first turn here very cautiously, exit running up on me, trying to stay off the curb. Getting as good a gap as I can to Q2 to try and hold on to the lead like I did at the last round of Catalonia. It's coming down to this downhill right hand here, touching the curve, getting all out of shape. Getting quite a good run up the hill here, running a little bit wide, but not too bad. What I learned is that when you go through that right hand here on the downhill, you really have to just eat it. So you just have to actually set it. As you see there, I get off the track there and that slows me right down and now puts me in an opportunity to be attacked from behind. Now watch P2 remember and he's absolutely just going to send it up the inside. Savage lunge. He's going to knock me, going to get our wheels tangled and that's going to send me off the track. I'm going to go jump into a quick replay of on board the second as you are, Gary Brown, remember the name. Savage lunge on the inside, absolutely dirty, dirty move. Um, the rules in this championship don't seem to be existent. I must check on the next round that the rules are actually there. Because that would be a penalty. That was so dangerous and it ruined my entire race. Anyway, it's coming over to the last panel, the very final lap. I didn't manage to catch up to the rest of the field. I spun out a couple times, had a little bit of an accident as you can see from the sprints. I just wanted this race just to be over. All I wanted was for this race to be over. And finally it was good thing about this championship is that if you come last you still get some points 
but now that's really going to put me on the back foot and that is going to hurt my championship um, my championship challenge got some good points mr brown got some good points the twat my team did terrible in that race became stone last yeah gary whatever his name is gary the dick is now leading the championship going into round four or five so the next round is at monza and i'm going to have to beat gary there's there's no two ways about it i'm going to have to beat him to take the points back so as you see there we got another invitation um, this time to the British Classic, it looks like in the, the picture there, the McLaren F1 and such. Um, I'll do invitational events off camera, just for fun. But yeah, that's going to do it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please leave a like uh, and comment down below what you thought of that dodgy video.